Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? It is currently 11.02 p.m. on Monday evening. Going into Tuesday. Well, it's not even going into Tuesday yet because it's just 11.02 p.m. And um, what you hear back here is tortilla chips, scoops, that I'm going to uh, take home here in a little while. And I'm gonna make some little nachos with. I have queso dip, and I have sour cream, and I have guacamole, and I have salsa. So I'm gonna make some nachos. And I'm gonna watch the last episode of RuPaul's Drag Race UK season two, the season finale. Which I already know who wins, um, which is actually, <clears throat> like one of my two favorites from the season. I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but I happened to go to their Twitter and Instagram. And when I went to their Twitter, it said at the top, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race UK season two. And I was like, oh, well now I know who wins. So that was last night. So I guess I, I didn't, I'm glad I didn't look earlier in the season. Um, I, I'm glad I waited until like almost the very end of the second to the last episode when I just happened to be sitting there just rolling through my phone. But anyway, um, I am on my way to go pick up my mother-in-law from the airport. Alex has to work early in the morning and she gets in at midnight. Um, she's been out of town visiting family. So I was like, I'll just go pick her up. It's really not that big of a deal. I'll be out vlogging and probably listening to my audiobook anyway. So I am going to vlog while I'm on my way to pick her up and then she and I will talk on the way home. And then I'm going to, um, where's my lip balm? And then I'm going to um, listen to my, here's my lip balm, listen to my audiobook on, um, after I get done um, taking her home and making sure that she's settled and all that. I'm listening to The, Sk the Sky's Blue, or Sky's Blue, I don't know why I keep on getting the title wrong, by Robbie Couch. I'm an hour into it now. It's really, really good. Um, it really reminds me a lot of uh, Becky Albertalli's Simon versus the Hobo Sapiens Agenda, which they turned into the movie Love, Simon. So if you like the book or you like the movie, you would really like this book. It's a similar story, kind of, but I have a feeling it's about to turn. Um, Although there's kind of more of a tragic kind of more of, listen to how I'm speaking, kind of more of a, uh, kind of more of a, uh, uh, there's more of a tragic kind of background to the main character, whose name is Sky. So, uh, but it's good. It's really good. And I actually, tonight, I downloaded, um, it is really hot in this car. It's 53 degrees outside. I downloaded two more books because I had two credits to use. So, um, one was a oh no, three books because one was a pre order. I don't even remember what it was. And then I ordered, I've never read all the way through a Stephen King book before. So, he has a really short book that just came out. It has kind of like a vintage looking cover on it, but it's on the bestseller list right now. And it's like six hours or seven hours long on Audible. So I was like, well, this is, and they com they're comparing it to kind of like the same feeling that the book It had. Um, you know, It, that they turned into the movie with Pennywise and all that. So I'm like, okay, well I can do six or seven hours. And then if I really like it, you know, I'll read something else. What was the other book um, of his that I downloaded that's like 47 hours or something that I'm gonna try to listen to this summer? I don't remember what that one was. The Stand, The Stand. Um, and then I, I bought a Michael Connolly book that I had read the first one a couple years ago, Midnight Something, about a female detective. And there's like three of them in this series now, which I didn't even know. I really like uh, Michael Connolly as a writer. I love the book Void Moon. Um, I actually was gonna read it again. I was gonna listen, I read it the first time, paperback, and I was going to, or hardback, I don't even remember. A couple years ago, I had started that on book two, where I was doing the 
supermarket picks, which were books that you just pick up at the grocery store. But I didn't end up following through with that. Um, and Void Moon was one of the picks of one there. Camino Island was also another one by John Grisham, which I ended up reading last year and loving. So I may go back and, I don't know if I'll do that kind of series again, but for myself, just kind of read some of those books. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I really like Michael Connolly as a writer, but I don't love the Harry Bosch series. I haven't really read a whole lot of the Harry Bosch series. My uncle loved, 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 loved the Harry Bosch series. I think there is a TV show, isn't there? That's called Bosch. So I don't know. Maybe I'll start him again and see if I can get into him again. Because I really like him as a writer. And it is hot. Had a good day, but I stayed up way too late last night watching that show. And um, so I slept in today. I talked about this on my Peter Dunn Stuff channel. But I just was kind of like, I woke up today like on the wrong side of the bed. Has that ever happened to you? It's just like every little thing went wrong with my day. There is this truck in front of me, and it's like some kind of utility truck. Oh, it's, a car. they're carrying cars. It's a car carrier. And it doesn't have any lights on in the back at all. Like no like, you know, brake lights or whatever lights. That's kind of scary. It's a tow, it's a tow truck, kind of. I don't know what you would call that. No, it's not a tow truck. It's like where it's sitting, the car is sitting on one of those things in the back. But their lights in the back are not working. Hmm, that's scary. Well, I don't want to be by that. Especially as cars are coming up behind it on the interstate. Um, so yeah, I had to kind of start my day over several times today. feels much better that air it's cool air coming in here now and then finally when my day was much better the day was almost over and um i made a drama video i did a review video when i first got up and then i did a drama video what and then i did my peter dust stuff video when i went and got my coffee and then i did a drama video and a peterisms video and those were those last two, the drama video and the Peter Wilson's video, were uploading while I was doing my <clears throat> um, book club tonight, my literature meeting. And um, there was only four of us tonight in the group. It was a really good meeting, though. And we finished our book that we had our literature that we had been reading. And so we decided on, we'd already kind of decided on it, but the next book that we're gonna read, so we're gonna keep it going, which is really, really cool. Um, you know that this thing started out of a necessity for us to like meet up, you know, when COVID, the lockdown was going on. And now here we are over a year later and we're still going and we've read two entire pieces of recovery literature and really gotten to know each other, developed some very strong friendships, and now we're going on to our third book. And we also decided, we kind of decided on our fourth book. So, um, yeah, it's been really nice. And tonight we talked a lot about, like, fellowship and recovery and friendships and recovery and stuff. And it just was fun, you know, that it was just, like, the four of us kind of talking, and we read, and then we shared, and we cried, and we laughed. And, um, Alex actually told me, he said, he's like, I really like that you have your, you know, well, we're not meeting next week, but we're going to start again the week after that. But he said, I really like that you have like your group that you do with your girlfriends on Monday nights. And he was like, I think I want to do something like that with my friends. And I was like, you do? And he was like, I was like, well, you go out with your friends, you know, to dinner. So he was like, well, that's what I was thinking. He was like, I was thinking that maybe, you know, like we could pick a night a week that like four of us get together every week and like you know try a different restaurant some of our friends were talking about we have two friends of ours that they were in this um, restaurant club or something like that and it was like six or eight girls and they had done it for like five six years they had done it for a long time and it kind of just fizzled out i guess 
and they would like every month they would go to like a new restaurant and so Alex was saying that they could do something like that it'd be like those two girls that were in that group and then him and somebody else and then they could do like a restaurant club or something and I said that would be fun you guys love to go out to dinner you know and have a glass of wine I think that would be fun for you guys and he was like yeah I really like that you have that kind of like you know that camaraderie with your friend he didn't use that word but you know the fellowship with my friends on Monday nights and um and I know I can depend on them you know and and it's, it's really helped us get to know each other past just the recovery piece and sharing pieces of our lives and you know it's just it's been such a blessing like one of my friends tonight said she said you know I know that when we look at all of the things that have happened because we were talking about gratitude and like you know negative situations and she was like I know that you know like not a lot of great things came as a result of COVID or lockdown she was like but this is one thing that I can look at that period of time and feel very blessed for that came as a result of that you know that there's gratitude in that and I feel the same way you know um, so yeah, I'm just super thankful for that group. It's just a wonderful group. And I always feel so spiritual afterwards. Like, here I brought up my lip balm and I didn't even use it. I, um, uh, you know, had my coffee ready and had to plug in my extension cord so that my phone and my computer didn't die while during it. And um, I had all my candles lit before and stuff. So I had even candles lit in the kitchen um, tonight, which was nice. I love that kind of stuff. It's like, you know, with my True Crime Book Club on a Sunday that Mel and I run, it's like, it's the same way. It's like when we have, I love, 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 you know, meeting up with Mel and everybody else for that. And I always look forward to that, you know, just sitting down there and it's just, um, I don't know it's just so nice you know to just kind of unplug kind of and I don't know I just love it there's like two planes coming in I can see them right now they're really really bright I think they come in like this way then they turn and it's funny I'm like I wonder if my mother-in-law is on that plane or maybe they're aliens and that's why the lights are so bright. I so do believe in aliens. No, I think they're almost like helicopters or something. Because they're really close to each other. It's crazy to me, though, that in 2021, with everything that is out there in the world that we haven't had, like, confirmed... I'm not talking about speculative. I'm talking about confirmed, like, yes, this happened. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, confirmed sightings of you. I mean, and I know that there's a lot of people that are like, yes, there are, yes, there are. I'm not, a, I'm not a skeptic, okay? I believe in aliens. I believe in extraterrestrials. I believe they've been here. I believe in abductions. I believe in everything, right? But it's like, we don't, I, I mean, I'm talking confirmed by, like, CNN. Like, CNN gets on the news and says, last night over, you know, uh, Santa Fe, there was a sighting of, and this is the pictures that are crystal clear and all that. You know, it's crazy to me that we haven't had that in our, in our world yet. I don't know. I kind of sometimes wonder if we ever will in my lifetime. And then as much as I believe I sometimes think, well, if we haven't, then why haven't we, you know? Like, does that mean that there isn't anything else out there? Which, that's kind of a really desperate thought, you know? Kind of sad thought that we were, we're the, the only ones, I guess desperate's not the word, but you know. It's a sad thought to think that we're like the only ones out there in the universe, you know? I just can't believe that's the case. I just can't. Which is why I love listening. I haven't actually, I haven't listened to Coast to Coast AM in quite some time. That's why I love listening to that show. Maybe I should listen to a little bit of that tonight.
friends of mine are always like, well, it's funny because tonight I, I just went and got a fountain pop. Well, she got a fountain pop. I got a bottle of water, Tanya. I also had some Reese cups. <clears throat> and um, so I was, she was like, are you going to vlog? And I said, no, I'm going to pick up my mother-in-law. And she goes, you love going to the airport. And I do. Like my friends, not Tanya, because she knows I love going to the airport. But my friends are always like, you'll pick up anybody from the airport. And they're like, it's so far from your house, which it's probably about 35, or the airport's probably 35, 40 minutes from our house. To my mother-in-law's house, it's probably, it's probably an hour from, 45 minutes to an hour from door to door. And um, people are like, you love picking up people from the airport. You really don't mind? And I'm like, I, I don't mind at all. I like picking up people from the airport. Before I was a vegetarian, Tanya and I would pick up our friend that when she would fly into town. I think she was on one of my vlogs one time, my friend Liz. She would fly into town and her Tanya's son Nick would fly into town and we would pick them up from the airport or other people that we knew. And Tanya and I used to always go to that, there's a Speedway gas station. I think it's a Speedway gas station. Right, like before you get to the, it's like, you know like when you, I don't know if you, if most city airports are like this, but I think so. Like in Indianapolis, like the airport is like all in its own, you know, section. So when you turn off onto like whatever the road is, I think it's called Ronald Reagan Highway actually. And it's like, it takes you to the airport. There's like a gas station that sits right there, right before you get to the main airport, the parking, the, you know, um, terminals where you drop people off and pick people up. So like tonight, if I haven't heard from her by then, like by the time I get there, I will just park at the, um, it was so funny because I thought my phone just went off when I said that. I'll park at that gas station, which is literally like, you go out on the road and a minute later you're there. But Tony and I would go to the gas station and we would get fountain pops and we would get, of course, obviously, oh, we would probably had fountain pops before, but we would get hot dogs. Oh my God. Tony convinced me of this one time we were there and she's like, come on, let's go. This was years and years ago. She goes, let's go get, we have to get hot dogs at before we go and pick up Liz or something from the airport. And I said, hot dogs? And she's like, yes, at um, gas station at the airport, they always have the best hot dogs. She's like, Eric always, her husband Eric, she's like, he always makes me have the hot dogs there and they're like the best hot dogs in the entire world because they have like onions and everything that you can put on them. I love, I like on my, well, I don't eat hot dogs anymore. Vegetarian hot dogs, but I haven't even had those in a while. I like mustard, relish. I mean, I'll eat anything on a hot dog, really. But I like mustard. Ooh, jalapenos sound good. I haven't had that ever on a hot dog, I don't think. But on a hot dog, I like mustard, relish, and onion. And if there's no relish, I'm fine with that. But I definitely have to have mustard and onions, like cut up really fine little onions. So we would go to this gas station out here, this, um, <laughs> this, um, what do you call it? Um, shoot the speedway or whatever it was i'm laughing because this one time that we were there um <laughs> gas we would just get hot dogs and we'd sit in the car and we would eat these. we would always get there like an hour early so anyway i don't know why this is so two things happened the last time that we were there was one night well the same night tony and i were sitting there we had our windows down and we didn't know it and this guy walked in front of us and he had like a full conductor's outfit on, like conductor for a train. But like we had forgotten that our windows were down because it was like in the summer, you know? And we had forgotten our windows were down and Tanya real loud goes, choo choo, like that. <laughs> He's like walking right in front of us. And he like turned and looked at us and Tanya and I were like, oh my God, it was so funny. I don't know why, it's still, we are, our humor is all this silly, stupid stuff like that. And then, she told me this story. I mean, and now I've told this story like a hundred times to people or I'll have people, I'll have her tell this story. She and a friend of hers were on a lake boat in um, Del, uh, Del Harbor, or Del whatever it's called, Del Harbor or Del whatever in Tennessee. We used to go to Lake Norris, but this was uh, Dale Hollow. Dale Hollow, Dale Hollow. Is it Del Hollow or Dale Hollow? I think it's Del Hollow, I don't know. But anyway, she was on a, uh, a house bet with her and her friend. This was when Tanya was back when she was drinking and stuff. And her friend, like, for three days straight, played this Barbra Streisand <laughs> tape cassette. And um, Tanya had had it. 
and her friend said something to her. I should have her tell the story. I said, well, she doesn't love being on the vlogs anymore. But anyway, she, uh, I was just, the other day, I had her tell this story to somebody. I can't remember who it was, but her friend said, oh, I just love Barbara Streisand so much. And Tanya took that tape out and she threw it over the boat. She said, I am so tired of Barbara Streisand. I can't listen to one more song of hers. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my God. I know who it was that we were telling that story to. That was so much fun. Not a glum lot. So we just have the silliest of times. Hot dogs at airports and we always have good times. Tanya and I, tonight, we um, went to this the gas station that we go to. Well, first of all, Tanya gets real fed up. And I understand, right? With the same gas station that we go to, they have these signs all over the doors and stuff that say, you know, like, uh, customers not allowed without masks. You must have a mask to come inside. And, you know, like, we'll, we can refuse. It says something about we can. One of them says we can refuse service if you don't wear a mask. And so... We're always wearing masks. I mean, I always have, I have 15 of them, 1,000 of them in here, you know, and whatever. And Tanya is, you know, real serious about masks, like me too. Well, we go in there, and the people that work at this gas station, none of them ever have masks on, not a one of them. They're always behind this plexiglass, but even then, they're like walking around the store, like fixing stuff or cleaning stuff, and they never have masks on. And Tanya has said something to them a couple different times. So this girl that was just getting off work, that worked there, she like ran out of her, ran out to her car and was like getting something out of it and then running back inside. So we were like, let her, we were like, honey, we're not in a hurry. You go ahead and all this kind of stuff. No mask. Of course, Tony said, of course, under her breath, Tony's like, oh, she has no mask on or something like that. And I go, well, surprise, you know, this, this gas station, they don't ever wear masks. So anyway, we get up to the line. And Tanya's always so friendly and so sweet to people when we're out in public. And so this girl's got like stuff in her hands, like cookies and like something to eat and whatever. And so we're getting ready to go in line. Like we're carrying our stuff and she's carrying her stuff. And Tanya said, you go ahead. And she goes, no, she's like, the girl's like, you go. And she, Tanya's like, no, we're not in any hurry. We're just hanging out. You go ahead. You just got done working. You want to get out. So she goes up and she puts her stuff down. And we're sitting there and she's like talking to the guy at the register and she's like going through these bins up here, okay? Looking through lighters and she's like pulling a lighter out and pulling and looking at it, pulling a lighter out, putting it back in and looking at it. <laughs> so we're literally sitting there and five minutes, I mean, I'm not exaggerating, like five minutes goes by. If I'm exaggerating, I'm exaggerating by a minute. I mean, maybe 30 seconds, so. <laughs> Tanya, Tanya, she said, I don't even know how she said it because it was sweet but funny. She said, well, I didn't, we might not have let you go ahead if we knew that you'd be rifling through these uh, lighters all night long. And so the girl turns around and she starts laughing and Tanya's laughing, you know, and stuff like that. So, um, so the girl rings her stuff up and it gets declined. And so then, um, we're sitting there, and I'm like about ready because they bring it up twice and it gets declined twice. And we've now been in line now for probably a good 10 minutes. And I was just ready. I was like, I mean, the girl didn't have that much stuff. I was just going to buy it for her. You know, I felt so bad for her. And she's like arguing with the guy, and she's like, I don't know why he would know. She's like, I have money in the account. It shouldn't be declined. There's now four people behind us, okay? Four or five. Four, four people behind us. Plus Tanya, me, then four people behind us. And she's still up there, right? And um, so she she pulls out her phone and she goes, here, I'm gonna look up my account. And finally the guy behind the counter, he's got her stuff in the back. He goes, can you go over there to look up your account? She goes, well, it's, it'll just be a second. He goes, there's a lot of people behind you. Tanya looked at me like, she was like, what is going on here? So anyway, that was our experience tonight at the gas station. It's, it's never a dull moment in Indianapolis. But that gas station, they never were wearing masks anyway to begin with. Not a one of them. They never have. Well, there's one, 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 old, one, one, one. There's one old guy that works in there that he wears masks. But the rest of them, they don't ever wear masks. But, you know, we're now like a week off from wearing masks. And where I've been, well, I mean like going to Target and Walmart and stuff. Who was I talking about this the other day? They still have signs up that say that you have to wear masks when you go in there. But I haven't seen people that don't have them on. So, I don't know. Well, except for like at that gas station, but they've never had them on. 
Which is funny because when I vlog and I'm listening to an audiobook and I get gas or a water or a fountain pop or whatever, there's another gas station that I go to and it's the same company and they always, she always has a mask on in that store. Always, always, always. So. It was a good day today though. After I turned my day around. It was a nice day. My patio chairs come this week, which I'm really excited about. Tony's like, you're gonna make a little reading nook for yourself out there. I said, I am. I said, I'm gonna have my two chairs, and then I'm gonna have, um... oh, I was gonna ask Tony if she wanted my glider. I'm gonna ask my neighbors, too. And then um, I'm gonna get a new little table for in between, and then I'm gonna put my white Ikea table to the side, and I'm actually gonna put a big plant on it. And then um, I'm gonna have two, like I'm gonna get a fern that hangs with my wind chimes. And then I'm gonna have two little, uh, what do you call it? Um, not too little, but two big flower pots on either side. And then I was, everybody I asked about the landscaping thing, they're like, well, I don't know any landscapers that would take on a job that small, because everybody knows how small our walkways are. And so I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know who to, so, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Road work. I thought she might get in a little early today. I thought she might be texting me or calling me a little early, but she's not. The last time I picked her up, I can't remember what time she got in, 12 or one, and she got in like right on the dot, like when I picked her up. She's like, you were so close. And I was like, yeah, I was just waiting for you. She was like, usually people always make me wait like a half an hour or something. I was like, no, I said I'd be here. My mother-in-law is so sweet. I have the best mother-in-law in the entire world. She's always so thankful too when I come pick her up. She's so nice. She always tries to put the bags and stuff in the car. I'm like, let me get these for you. You know, I, um, it's nice being able to do things for her. I don't, you know, I don't have that anymore. I don't have a mom to do things for anymore. So it's really nice that I have that relationship with Alex's mom where I can do things for her, you know? And, um, She's such a sweet woman. She's such a great mom. I was like looking here. So they moved our airport in Indianapolis. I don't know if you know this if you're from Indianapolis, but it used to be, well, we're coming right up on it here, not probably about five miles. But then they rebuilt the airport. God, I don't even know how long ago that was. 10, 12 years ago, maybe? They rebuilt the airport. And so now it's like just a little bit further past. I don't even know what they did with the old airport. Does anybody know? Is it, I mean, it's still there. I just don't know what they've done with it or what they use it for or anything. This is the time to fly, I guess, because there's like nobody on the roads right now. We always fly at like, we usually, when we fly out, we fly out real early and we usually come in late at night. So it's nice when we come in because there's just not a lot of people, you know, at the airport and stuff like that. And there's not many crowds. And real early in the morning, there isn't usually. The last time that we left though, um, there were quite a few people at the airport, but it seemed to go really quick. I think, I don't know, where am I at on time? There's a plane coming in, it's landing right here. See, it says right here, Indianapolis International Airport. I wonder if that's the old sign or the new sign. Wouldn't it be funny if like, as soon as that, it's, it's landing, it's landing, if like, as soon as it hit, like I got a text from her and said, I'm here. I'd be like, oh my God, I saw your plane come in. When I was in high school, we used to love to go to the airport and walk around, and we would, it stopped. I didn't even know it, and it stopped for a while, I think. I was sitting here talking about when I was in high school, my friends and I, we would go to the airport, and we would walk around, and 
we would like pick a gate that um, well, we would walk by and we'd each be able to pick a gate of somewhere we wanted to go. Do you remember that though? Like that was before there was like, you had to go through security. I mean, there was always security, I think, but um, that was before like, you couldn't go back to the gate. Do you remember that? This seems like so crazy to me. When did that change? And um, so you could literally walk by the gates and you know, um, you didn't have to go through security or anything. And we would each like pick a gate of like somewhere that we wanted to fly to, you know? So if it said like, like this sign right here, St. Louis, we would say St. Louis or Los Angeles or New York or Miami or Colorado. Somebody just texted me and I have a feeling that it was my mother. Oh. So I'm gonna have to pull into this gas station up here. Pretty close. That I bet that was her plane then. If that's if I just if I pulled in and it or if it just that was the plane that landed. Oh my god, I bet that was her. There haven't been any other planes that land that landed. That had to have been her. Oh my god, that is so hilarious. I'm getting non-stop text now. Dreams go on when it's cold outside. Do you guys love the uh, the man heart? I love heart so much. It's interesting because there's like all these factories out here, and they are like. Um, not factories, warehouses, and they're like at a different point, a part of like where they used to be, but they're all like on this airport property, which is really interesting to me. <clears throat> that's like a big private plane. Oh my God, that's cool. These dreams go on when it's cold outside. tell that my allergy medicine is starting to wear off a little bit. Because my throat is starting to itch. <coughs> can you scratch your throat? My husband can scratch his throat. I don't know how he does it, but he goes... He makes like this noise, you know? I can't do it though. Indianapolis International Airport. These dreams go. <coughs> I can't wait to listen to my audiobook. I'm like really, really into this audiobook. <coughs> oh my gosh, if you guys do not have seasonal allergies where you live, they're the worst. And my medicine that I take, it lasts for about 12 hours, yeah. That aloe vera. And that's about as good as it gets. And then it just is like, uh. I won't be having any hot dogs tonight. Because <laughs> I don't eat hot dogs anymore. Why is this gas station so much further than I thought it was? I thought it was like really close right there. There's like this Cadillac. Um, it's not like an SUV. It's like shorter than that. 
a station wagon. There's like a Cadillac station wagon right in front of me, and I don't know why that's cracking me up. It just literally just swinged, swung like two lanes over. It's like right in front of me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's what we're doing here. So it's a Circle K, in case you wonder, which used to be Shell Station, I think. Is it? Oh, it is a Shell Station. Shell Station, Cir Circle K. You know, I just got gas for two, I just filled up my tank and it was 276 and down here it's 319. Isn't that crazy? God, I love the sound of a turn signal. Ooh, I almost missed the entrance to the Special K. Sort of Special K, Circle K. Let's just pull in right here. This is weird. They took out the whole like gas thing right here. Look, there used to be a gas thing right there. Now it's gone. Okay. Let's see what my mother-in-law said. Shoot, I can't see anything without my phone. Okay. He, so Alex texted me and she texted me. So um, she is at American Airlines. Actually, I'm just gonna get off here now and I'm gonna end the vlog for tonight so that I can talk to her. So I know it's a short vlog, but I love you guys so much. I hope you're having an amazing Tuesday. If nobody else has told you this today, I love you. And um, be kind to one another. Um, make sure that you reach out. Most importantly, make sure that you reach out to somebody and let them know how much they mean to you. I hope you guys have an amazing Tuesday and an amazing Tuesday evening. And I love you so much. And an amazing Wednesday. And I love you guys so much. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Love ya! So since I'm at the airport <laughs> and I'm just sitting here waiting because she's waiting for her luggage, I thought I would come back and say, one more I love you. I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Love ya!